One of the things that I tried to do in creating this white paper was to provide information on the importance of maintaining aseptic technique and reducing contamination during ultrasound guided insertions. Also to share information on the new transducer disinfecting guidance provided by the Association for Vascular Access. Today, with patients that are coming to the hospital, we see more than 50% of them that have some form of difficult access. They present challenges in locating veins, in uh, putting the catheters into the vein, and then maintaining it for a successful insertion when we have to do multiple attempts to gain access. This not only makes patients unhappy, but it also increases the liability of the hospital in many cases. With these types of problems, ultrasound-guided peripheral intravenous access is becoming more and more prevalent in hospitals. I observe a lot of hospitals and clinicians performing these procedures, and I see many breaks in technique, many problems. Ultrasound-guided peripheral insertion requires uh, the use of aseptic technique, uh, covers for the transducer or probe that help to protect the patient, the gel on the skin that allows us to fully visualize the veins takes more time and as you increase the time during the procedure you also increase your risk of contamination. All of these components increase risk to the patient, mm -hmm. increase the difficulty and the challenge of establishing ultrasound guided peripheral access. The time, the supplies, all of these things increase cost to the hospital and have a, a huge economic impact over time. Some of the new products that are available now allow us to overcome the challenges that we face with ultrasound guided peripheral access. Being able to maintain aseptic technique is most important and having a dressing and a securement device that allows us to separate the gel from the skin and not have the transducer ever touch the skin helps to aid in maintaining that aseptic technique. I believe that the information that's contained in this white paper will help to serve clinicians to have a better understanding of options that are available to them to help to improve the procedure both for their success for patient safety as well as to reduce the cost.